Which certification is best for you? Hey everybody, Zach with IT Career Questions and we are discussing certifications today. Which certification might be best for you? Well first, let's go over the certifications that you can get. I won't cover every single one, but we'll go over just a few of maybe the basic certifications that you can get. So there is the A plus certification. The A plus certification is a very broad range. It really covers mostly hardware, some peripherals with windows and things like that. It's nothing that's too crazy. The A plus is something that almost everybody gets at some point when they're going through like college for IT or uh, looking to just to get a certification in general. That's usually the go to one is A plus. And if you're looking for anything above A plus, Here's where things start to get interesting. So they have the Server Plus, which of course, by the name of it, that's gonna cover all of your server administration, configuration. If you know how to do that stuff, you could probably get a Server Plus. And of course, just so you know, these are all things that you can study for and can achieve on your own. You do not need to go to school to get any of these certifications. You can also get your Network Plus, which of course, by the name of it, you're going to need to know how networking works, VLANs and how the switches are configured, things like that. That'll cover the Network Plus. Linux Plus, which of course, all of these names that I'm going to go over now are very, very specific. So Linux Plus is obviously going to cover anything that's Linux based. So um, make sure that you study your Linux. There is also Cloud Plus. Again, very specific with the name. That's gonna cover your cloud computing and how, how all of that actually functions and works and operates and what it means. So these are all basics that you can really go over. So the Linux Plus and the Network Plus, Cloud Plus, those might be a little bit more advanced in the Server Plus too, of course, than the A Plus. But again, these are all things that you can study on your own and actually take the certification and be certified in these different areas. So if a certification is something that you're really looking to do, these are some of the things that you can really look for right off the bat and start studying for on your own. And these are also things that I'm gonna be covering at some point and go into actual detail. Let's go over everything for A+, what you need to know. Let's go over Network+, Plus, everything that you need to know. And we'll do some step-by-step step tutorials and just kind of show you the things you need to know, how you do them, and we'll just do the basics of those things. And then I'll, we'll shoot over links of the more advanced tutorials on things like that, because I don't want to go too crazy with the tutorial stuff. But I know I have a lot of requests for more tutorials, more tutorials. They are coming. I promise you, I will be doing more tutorials. I am trying to actually figure out the best ones to do right off the bat and try to come up with a structure so you guys uh, basically have a lot to go off of at first. So I really need to actually compile quite a few videos at first to put them out because I don't want you guys to have to wait for you know one video a week in say A plus for instance. I want to release the A plus as a playlist and you're going to have like you know five or ten videos or whatever about the A plus right off the bat. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up. If you haven't checked out my other videos, you know what to do. Click on the links, go to my YouTube page, uh, the main page. And if you guys have any questions, I know you know what to do by now because I tell you all the time, leave a comment below. More than happy to get back to you and answer any question that I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy.